Is Leclerc as aggressive as Verstappen? We saw some very aggressive overtaking from Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen in this weekend's Bahrain Grand Prix. After the race, Leclerc said, it is hard racing, as we have seen with Max in the past, but I'm also an aggressive driver in the way I fight with others. And this will have been a strong message to Verstappen. So let's look at it from each driver's perspective. At 17, Verstappen had caught Leclerc and made a strong move going down the pit straight helped by the straight line speed of the Red Bull. Leclerc defended pretty heavily as much as he really could with the wide Bahrain circuit. I think here he would have wanted to keep Max on the inside, off the racing line and in all of that dust and the dirt on the inside of the track. This way Leclerc had a much better line through turn one with cleaner and grippier tyres and had DRS in the next section of track. He actually said that he wasn't trying to be too late on the brakes going into turn one as the DRS detection line was in the braking zone. As we know, this is the line that enables DRS in the next section of track if a driver is behind another when crossing it. So Leclerc was being pretty clever here. Actually going on to say, I expected it the overtaking means and actually I wanted it because I knew that if he wasn't overtaking me there he would be overtaking me on the run up to turn four with DRS so I was on purpose braking very early into turn one to be just behind in the DRS detection and to get it on the run to turn four to get him back it always worked out and that's very intelligent from Leclerc and something that he would have studied before the race and when looking at how Verstappen had approached races in the past. Before a race, it's really important for drivers to think through different scenarios, especially when there are DRS detection and activation points involved, as it can actually be relatively simple to overtake someone with these areas of track. By the way, if you want to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Formula One, join our new F1 newsletter, link in the description below. Anyway, Anyway, on to the most important part of this wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. The very tenth of a second that Leclerc was past Verstappen going down into turn four, he drove across the front of him and got on the brakes. And when I watched this live, it actually made me wince a little bit and also smile at the same time. In my opinion, this was more than just a good aggressive move on the brakes. Driving across the front of Verstappen in that way signals to him that Leclerc is going to be very calculated and very aggressive. This was a bit of a grey move actually, right on the edge of being legal and actually as we've seen many times from Verstappen himself. And these decisions on how you race with another driver aren't completely made in the moment. Leclerc would have already thought about how he wants to interact with Verstappen in wheel-to-wheel -wheel combat. Compare this to Lewis who last year took a slightly different approach. But Leclerc is going in hard, which is going to be really interesting to watch. In fact, when asked about the racing, Leclerc said, it's not a problem for me, it's a type of racing I like. It is hard as we've seen with Max in the past but I'm also an aggressive driver in the way I fight with others. I enjoy racing hard like this, but fair racing. So I don't think there was anything wrong in all of those overtakes. I also love this type of racing. There was no contact. Both drivers were pushing incredibly hard. This is what racing is all about. And so back to the race, the following lap, pretty much the same thing happened. Although Leclerc's re-overtake was a bit easier. It seemed he had things under control. On the next lap, going into turn one, there was a big lunge from Verstappen coming from probably over 50 meters back and he locked the front right, probably damaging it in the process. And Leclerc then made an easy re-overtake, cutting back underneath Verstappen. From this point, the battle was pretty much done. So then we move on to the safety car period at the end of the race. And in particular, the restart. Leclerc referred to watching Max in previous races, saying for the restart, looking at last year's race, I think it's something that Max also is doing quite often. To just be as close as possible and sometimes alongside the driver that is restarting first. I just tried to do the best restart possible and I know the position he was in at that moment. It was the right moment for me to do the restart and it worked out. And this was a bit of a strange decision from Max. Being on the inside of the tight final corner meant that his racing line was really restricted. The corner was essentially tighter, meaning he couldn't carry as much speed nor get on the throttle as early. And that's really important when heading into a long straight. 
Therefore, Leclerc simply drove away from Verstappen at the restart. And then, in fact, Verstappen was under massive pressure from Carlos Sainz, who managed to get alongside him, but not past. I'm not exactly sure why Verstappen made that decision. Perhaps he was being distracted by the impending mechanical issue with the Red Bull, which we're going to talk about in our next video. Thanks again to CyberGhost VPN. Go check out the link below. Cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.